Okay, this is a follow-up to the previous video, um, giving you more context uh, about the game. Uh, you can follow the previous, you can see, watch the previous video uh, where I show what happened in the game. But I think I missed a couple of important points. Now, just a quick breakdown, as you can see, so this was the game. Uh, this, these two guys, only fans and Asha Mashrebro, are pre-maids. Uh, every single time they get into the selection, they ban no champions, and they say uh, they're gonna start yapping about like, hi, we are Master Smurf, we are Smurf, just chill, easy win, blah blah blah. Now, in this specific game where I got them, uh, they died a couple of times times in the early game, and then, like, I, I don't even know, like, why. They just kept dying. Non-stop. Kept dying. As you can see, Senna is 1 and 16. The Syndrome was, like, like, not as obvious. 3 and 9. So it's like, this was the soft inting guy, and this is, like, the straight up I don't care guy who just, you know, something just clicks and runs it down. Like 1 and 16, 16 deaths in 22 minutes should be automatically bannable. Like automatically, if the system recognizes this, like, like you know, like certain death per minute, like being above certain death per minute should just be automatically bannable. And I'm gonna get on get into like what do I think would be a a good system. Uh, but the point is that <clears throat> so you have this these two players. As I said, I have no idea why. I, I muted them in the, uh, the 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 champion selection because they just couldn't stop talking. And you know, if I mute pl if I mute players. I am not talking either because you know, like I am not talking in general. Uh, like you know, like I'm minimalizing uh the conversations. I'm only talking, you know, if it's like useful information. But when they are muted, I don't really have a reason to talk. And Riot Games can see the chat log. I was not talking in that game. At the end, I was like, you know, talking in all chat, explaining to the enemy team. Uh, what was going on, and I told them that, you know, I'm not gonna play it out, because uh, at one point, Senna and Syndra walked up to my red buff and tried to take it from me, and Syndra, with her, I don't know, like, W or whatever spell it is, she grabbed my red buff and threw it into the Herald, like, you know, Rift Herald pit, or Baron pit. Uh, just general griefing behavior, and that's when I said, okay, like, I'm not playing this. If I'm being uh, targeted with, like, griefing, and I'm unable to play the game because of my teammates, I have no nothing to do. Like, this is a game of 5v5. All, like, everyone's efforts should be about, like, like, your efforts should be, like, griefing the enemy team. Stopping the enemy team from winning the game. So essentially, you have to grief every single game, but you have to grief the enemy team. Whether it be st stealing the enemy enemy jungler's red buff, stealing the enemy, like stealing the dragon from the enemy team, denying waves from the enemy top laner, you know, like diving the enemy bot lane as five, you know, that's the stuff that you have to do, which is like kind of griefing, but you're griefing the enemy team in order to win the game for your team. Now, for some players, this is just, this just, you know, snaps. They are just, they decide to grief their own team and make it pos impossible for them to win the game. And according to the Summoner Codex and all that fucking, like, 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 dumb stuff, that is against the rules. But somehow, somehow, you can still do this. 1 and 16, 3 and 9, whatever, like, the scores, I mean, I'm not really into the scores, like, when I saw them feeding, I'm like, okay, I can work with that, because I have won games where 
you know players were like i ha i have won games where my teammates went afk i have won games where my support where my support picks an ad carry because refuses to support and then goes top lane to steal farm from the top laner i have won games like that so i don't care about score i'm not just i'm like like if you have to understand i'm not just going out there and reporting every single person who has a negative score or you know goes one in 16 because you know i i've been one in 16 before and i've won games being one in 16 and and you know i have won, i have played games where i made the enemy one in 16 and i can still see them try and i can still see that they are trying but they are just not good enough because you know the ranked system is also completely trash and it matches players who are completely out of each other's leagues but whatever that's not the point the point is that you can have these two guys do what they did in their in in my game do what they did to a teammate make it like absolutely like <laughs> just unpleasant as unpleasant as possible and then this is them so only fans uh you can see right here only fans was the syndra um uh, where is it this is it three and nine they have played this many games since that one and you could argue that okay they are generally doing good like you know they are probably doing better than me so why would you ban them you know this is the senna so uh here it is one and 16 and then after that i think they played like 21 games i counted uh some of them are arams some of them are normal drafts but here, here is the thing to me like okay it doesn't look like they have been griefing in any of these obviously i don't know like i don't know like even like like looking at this it's like even like let's take a game like this you know 17 and 9 victory he they he could have been griefing in this game too because griefing is not shown by the score itself like there are so many ways of griefing that can only be like filtered if you actually look at the game and this is why riot games should like like be thankful that there are so many players who write tickets and give like give context to what happened in a game because and then okay so back to the back to when i was saying like okay it doesn't look like they have been griefing since then does it make a difference like does it make a difference if they griefed once they should be punished on the spot and yes i know about that punishment where the game doesn't let you play ranked games uh instead of like giving you a ban or a restriction it just doesn't let you play ranked games where the thing is um okay where is that okay he, he, here is the game here is like this is right after that like these couple games were right after this one so maybe let's say they got a restriction like wherever but as you can see these are all ranked solo duo games all ranked there are a couple of arem games but the thing is you cannot uh like you know when you're restricted from playing ranked uh you have to play normal draft and these are arem games and are not even consistently but you can see they have been playing consistently on uh on uh on solo queue now obviously it's not in english so you can't really see the details but you get the point so my point is that you have like there is like so if you grief just one game but then play 20 other games completely sportsman like you still like you still should be punished because the same thing applies for flaming you like 
I can play, and I have been playing, hundreds of games now where I didn't say a single offensive word in the chat. But if I go out there and say one slur, one like zero tolerance word, or, or just simply being negative and toxic in the chat, I'm going to be banned. Regardless of playing 100 games where I was friendly and sportsmanlike, regardless of like before, and then regardless of playing hundreds of uh, games after that one specific game, I'm still get I'm still gonna get punished the same way, which is completely fair. That's how it should work. Like it's not the f it's not the full picture. If you're able to sink that low just once, the full picture doesn't matter. So, like, just, just, how? And then, and then the problem, the biggest problem with that is that, you know, in this game, uh, where it is, so in this game, there is like, you know, 10 players. Two of them are these. There is me, there is the enemy. These two guys did what they did. The enemy knows what they did, because the enemy is obviously aware that they are winning, so, I mean, you can just look at the charts, you can just look at the... Okay, can you see the death locations? That's what I want to know. Uh, or maybe that's just... That's in the... Uh, that's right here, I, th I think. Stats. Overview. I mean, just look at that. Blue teams. Like, look at the blue team death around bot lane. Like, if I could count... It's like, just, just look at that. Senna dies to Kaiser. Senna dies to Kaiser. Senna dies to Thresh. Syndra dies to Thresh. Senna dies to Kaiser. Syndra. Senna. 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 Syndra. Senna. Senna. Me. Contesting the dragon. Doing my thing. Uh, Syndra. Syndra. Me. Contesting my own blue buff. Not getting help. Yasuo. Okay. Poppy. Syndra. Senna. Senna. Syndra. Uh, Senna, Yasuo, whatever, like, these don't even matter, this was, like, absolutely not even a game anymore. But you get the idea, like, you just have to look at this. You, you just take a look at this cluster of deaths. Like, someone who dies that much couldn't just be bad, they just don't care. They just don't care about winning, which is already against this supposed summoner code. So where is the ban? Where is the restriction? Like, don't tell me they just got a window pop up in their client saying that, I, you know, like, this is not fair, uh, type, I understand, and then they type, I understand, but then go keep playing, and then they can do this thing to someone on their team anytime again. They can do the same thing, and not only that they can do the same thing, it's that these five players saw what happened, and they could look into it and see that they get away with it, these two guys see what happens. And even if they don't know what happened, like even if they don't know that they got away with it, I know. I'm here and I know and I see that they did this to me and got away with it. They had a grudge against me for some reason. I wasn't chatting in the game. I had everyone muted. I was not chatting in the game. Like, okay, obviously up to the end where I told my teammates because... Uh, Yasu and Poppy, the only two guys that I didn't mute, started talking shit for me being AFK, and then the enemy team started talking shit to me, like, come on, play, blah blah blah, whatever. I played with this guy, the Kindred, uh, FTG Helal. Uh, I played with, I played against her or him, the previous game, and I beat him. So he was like, you know, he was like acting superior like wow like i remember you told me nice smite last game like because like like and then like this is the, the this game is like the perfect perfect like like reflection of, the, of what the community is like these guys are hard griefing the enemy team doesn't care because they take the win for like, they take the win for a walk they are they are as happy as you can be so they are happy. This guy talks shit to me because fi he finally wins against me. 
So he's talking shit because he finally wins. Doesn't care how he wins. While he's fully aware what's happening in bot lane. And then the other two guys didn't say a single word to these two. Instead, they flamed me. Yasuo flamed me because I ganked once. He missed everything and we both died. And then he told me that yes, I, I lost the game because I ganked mid lane and died. Um, so like, and then yeah, back to the back to what I was saying. The, I'm here. I experienced what I experienced. They took their frustration out on me, which was absolutely painful. Like, I'm not sugarcoating it. I felt horrible playing that game, knowing that I can't flame them, knowing that I can't beat them, because how do you beat your teammates? You can't. Knowing that I can't go AFK because I get punished. I can't flame them because I get punished. I can't protect myself. But the only way, obviously, I can protect myself is hiding. Hiding in the base. Just like I mentioned in the previous video, in CSGO or in any other shooter game, if your team is team killing you, what can you do? Obviously, in those games, there is a system that protects you. The team killer gets banned, gets removed from the game. Otherwise, the best thing you can do is hide from your teammates so that they don't team kill you, which sounds absolutely ridiculous. Why would you have to hide from your teammates? But to finish my, my thought process that I was going on about is that I'm here, I see what happened, and I see that they got away with it because I'm right here. I was keeping track of it, and I told Riot Games in the ticket that as, as long as I see them play, I'm going to send continuous tickets. And they either have to silence me or warn me not to do it. But I'm out here on YouTube telling everyone that. And, and again, to finish my thought process, I see that they get away with what they did. So what this tells me is that I can do the same. And I'm completely aware now. I can do the same. I can go into a game, pick Sandra, pick whatever, like Tom Kench, and, and, and just grab my teammates' buffs, grab my teammates, put them into the enemy. Which is funny, because like, it was like three, four years ago, uh, I was playing jungle, and there was a guy who was asking for jungle on my team. He was the support, and I didn't give him jungle, and he said, okay, well, then I troll. Now, back then, Tom Kench's W was the, you know, where you eat, eat the enemy, like, the player. That was Tom Kench's W. It was a basic spell with, like, a 5-second cooldown, or whatever. Okay, actually, it was way more, like, 20 seconds cooldown. And this guy picked Tom Kench support, and from minute one, he was eating me and throwing me, throwing me out into the enemy base. Or not the enemy base, like into the enemy lines. I wasn't able to play the game because this player um, was, uh, like, you know, like I, I couldn't even farm my first camp. I was level one that game. And I couldn't do anything. And that felt horrible. And I knew, again, if I go AFK, I get punished. If I tell him to off himself, I get punished. And I couldn't do anything. And he didn't get tired. The game was like 10 minutes long. Because obviously two players weren't playing. Because one of them was making sure the other wasn't able to play. And I could tell you for sure that that player didn't get banned. But I remember, like exactly remember, that I went out, wrote a ticket, recorded what happened, and again, just like here, I kept track of that player, and he was not punished. And you wonder why this game is so horrible. You wonder why this community is so horrible. Well, there you go. There is the answer. That's why. Because players can do that and not get even a warning. Because Riot Games is not doing their job, even though the players themselves do the majority of their job already. Because we go out there, 
we write the tickets, we record what happens, we record the clips of what happened. And even if it doesn't show the full context, like obviously, even if I'm just showing a little fraction where, where you know, this certain guy was, was griefing me specifically at some point, even if I show just a fraction, the violation is still there. The violation is still visible and right there. So, like, and, and then as I said, people, players see that. Players see that you can do that and get away. And they do the same and it just spreads. That's, this is why it's called toxicity. It's like a poison. It spreads. It's a, it's a disease. It just spreads. And these players are spreading it. And, and, and I used to be very verbal. Like, I remember just one year into playing this game. I got my, uh, my 14 day suspension. And then two years into playing the game, I got my main account permabanned. I was an extremely verbally toxic player. But I still condone to the very, very highest extent, I still condone griefing. This type of griefing. And I'm not even flaming anymore because it's not even possible to flame anymore. Because you get auto-muted, because you get like, like you get immediately muted by saying, you know, zero tolerance words. You get like easily detected, and then you get a chat restriction and whatnot. It's impossible to be verbally toxic anymore. So, which is good, but then the problem is there is still ways to get your frustration off, which is you know like griefing, gameplay, being like toxic as in gameplay, towards your teammates. And that is the problem. Like, you made one mean, like, you know, one certain mean of, 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 of toxicity was, was completely choked out. It's not um, possible to flame anymore, basically. And, and now people are gonna take their frustration out in, in like gameplay toxicity even more people are just gonna be like more and more griefy and feedy because because they can't flame anymore these toxic players you know they feel like they are using their powers so they are grasping at what they still have and i don't know like if it's like i i, I i'm just kind of going crazy because is it like a conspiracy like, like uh, you know, like they, they, is Riot Games deliberately allowing players to do that because they gain something from it? Like, they, I, I'm pretty sure there is nothing to gain from it. If a, a smart player who is not addicted to this game, once they get griefed like this, they just quit. They just quit. Like, my best example would be, you know, the YouTuber Video Game Donkey. You probably know him. Everyone knows him. He was like a huge leak content creator. He had so many videos and, I, and, I, and, and people loved it. And then one day he said, okay, well, I quit because it's unplayable. I got griefed. Uh, you know, I'm quoting him, you know, he got griefed and he can't even tell the player to fuck off because he gets banned. And then he, I think he also like said that he was writing tickets to Riot Games, how unfair this is. And they just told him the same thing. They tell everyone like, you know, yeah, yeah, we are so sorry, but we cannot share you the the fate of other players' accounts and blah, 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 whatnot. Well, okay, you can't share, but like, I, I'm here, I see, I see. There was no rank to the, there was no ranked restriction. There was no account restriction here. There was no, there was n no sort of retaliation here for how hard they broke the summoner code. Because it's not just that they didn't play to win. Because they obviously didn't care. It's not just that they didn't play to win. Which is f like first a first violation. It's that they made sure I have as unpleasant of a time as possible. That's like already two violations. And the funny thing is I muted them. So I don't even know if they were toxic or not. But at the end of the day, at the end of the game, 
in the post game chat where which is like where it's 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 so funny but you, you even if you're chat restricted you can still talk in the post game chat and even if you mute someone they can still talk to you in the post game chat and at the end of the game one of them told me i don't even know which one was it but he told me like i hope you had fun udir or something like that like even at the end of the game knowing damn well i muted them they took the only opportunity to talk to me and still poke me kick like i was already on the ground and they still kicked like that was like complete mental warfare against me and not just against me it could be anyone you don't even know like in these games where they lose they have insane amounts of, of numbers of that. Like, insane amounts of that counts. Look at that. Like, when they lose, they lose hard. And I'm pretty sure they make sure that their team doesn't just lose the game. They lose their mental as well. But as I said, I'm not judging anything by the score. Because anything could have happened here. What I'm saying is, like, this is mental warfare. This is actual mental warfare. And these guys are not Smurfs. I mean, this guy has his account since Season 7. And he's been silver, 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 gold, 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 plat. I think this is not a Smurf. But who cares whether they're a Smurf or not? I just don't understand, like, what, like who gains anything from this? Who gains anything? I don't gain anything. I have a horrible time. I'm, and I'm pretty sure they don't gain anything other than feel better somehow that they had some sort of power even though they couldn't beat the enemy. At least they beat me. But does Riot Games gain anything from allowing this to go on? That's my question to Riot Games. Like, do you gain anything from allowing this to go on? I could show you, I, I sent them tickets, but I'm not going to open my email up here. But I can show you, I have sent them tickets, and I got an answer. And the funniest part is, as I said, I'm not going to show the answer, because it's private messaging, but I'm just going to quote. The, the, the player support guy told me that, first, like, the, the most ridiculous part is that they told me that, yes, like, like griefing doesn't just happen on your team. Griefing also happens to the enemy team, and you tend to not see that as much. That was the answer. That was a part of the answer. Basically telling me that, just stop crying. The enemy team also has griefers. Like, good job admitting that there is griefing everywhere. Good job admitting that you're doing your job horribly. Great job. And how does that make it any better that there is griefing also in the enemy? Probably, obviously, he tried to, like, like suggest that if I cared as much as I'm showing, like, if I cared that much, I would report anything. Like, I would report even the enemy griefers. I would report even the enemy feeders. Well, then, guess what? I would be sending, like, you know, three tickets per day or per session because, you know, I don't play every day. But I would send, like, three, four tickets per session. Because, yes, every second game. There is a griefer in one team. Actually, not even every second. I would say only like every third or fourth game is free from griefers. And this game is just like, because of the way toxicity spreads, it's, ex it's exponential. The game is just getting worse and worse to a higher extent each year. Because this is allowed. And guess what? Guess which players are the ones to quit? It's always the sportsman-like players that are going to quit. And yes, League has gotten worse over the years. And that is exactly why. Because this is allowed. Griefers always win. That's my, that's my, 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 my motto, my, you know, my quote. That griefers always win. And that is the problem. Griefers always win here. So the friendly players, the sportsman-like players, the players who play by the rules and the shitty-ass summoner codex, they are the ones to quit eventually. 
Because what the fuck are they gonna do with other level 5s and chests if every time they queue up, they're gonna have a bad time? They're gonna have a horrible, unpleasant time. And being friendly doesn't stop you from getting griefed by your team. Believe me. Being friendly doesn't stop you from being griefed or flamed, sorry. These, like, the, the good players will always quit. The good players will slowly, like, disappear. Obviously, like, good players always come, but they go much faster. And these players, they stay. Why? Because they have fun. Why? Because when they win, they have obviously, they, they obviously have control. When they lose, they have control as well because they control some part of the game, which is the mental of your teammates. These guys are like, this is like actual, some sort of like mental problem they have. They are control freaks. And even in games like, I can, be, like, I be, like, I can tell you for sure that games like this, for example, Something minor goes wrong, and he, he's gonna make sure that they lose. Something absolutely minor could go on, or go wrong. And because they feel like they lost control, they're gonna make sure they lose. And, and, and it was right here, like, look at this, like, surrender rate. I don't know if that's, like, that's considered a lot. 15 plus percent. I have no idea what any of that means. Uh, but anyways, and, 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 the, and the funniest thing about, actually I didn't mention that in the last video, in this game, this game went on for 22 minutes instead of the 15 minutes uh, FF. Or the, I don't know, like 18 minute FF or 20 minute FF. None. Three surrender votes were denied with like, you know, three to two. The first one was denied like two, two. Because obviously, like, once there is two no votes, the vote is called off. And every single uh, surrender vote was called off with two no votes. Guess what? I guess which two. And I was starting every single surrender vote. So you know that I vote yes. I'm pretty sure one of these guys would be voting yes. Especially because Yasu was completely done with the game. And then these two vote no every time. Which is hostage taking. Which is another violation of the summoner codex. So there you go. That's the third one. That's the third one for you. That's already three violations of the Summoner Codex. This is just ridiculous. And then you could say that, you know, like, get a life. Why do I care so much? Which is completely true. As I said, yes, that's true. I could just quit. And then there would be, like, another, like, one less player who cares about this community and, and the way it's degrading. Like, as, yes, completely true. I could just say, fuck it, I don't care. Why, I, why do I care so much? I could just quit. But then, then, would, then there would be one less player who fights against toxicity, against griefing, against unsportsmanlike behavior. And yes, I consider myself very controversial because I'm not super friendly. I'm not friendly IRL. So I'm not going to be friendly in this game either. But I'm a tryhard. I, I strictly play to win. To the very end. I don't know if you can see my, my uh, surrender votes. Surrender rate, 7%. The previous guy's surrender rate was... Uh, was... Uh, 15. So double. My surrender rate is half as much. Half as much. Because I don't surrender, I play to the very end. Because I always see a chance. Obviously, the 7% is there. There are some cases where I surrender. 
but I, I just hope that the people get the idea. And I'm, 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 I'm asking for everyone. I'm not asking anyone to be a, a friendly, like, you know, fairy in this game. And spread magical friendliness. I'm just asking you to play to win. If you want to grief someone, grief the enemy. If you, if, if, if you put as much effort into griefing the enemy as you put into griefing your teammates, you would be winning so much more, so many more games. Instead of making sure your teammates don't win, just make sure the enemy doesn't win. How about that? And if both, and if both teams do that, then you have an ideal competitive setting. It's that simple. It's that simple. I don't know how many players are going to listen to this. Because this just, you know, got to the point where it's just yapping and complaining. But this is serious issue. This is very serious issue. Griefing is an extremely serious issue. And Riot Games doesn't seem to take it as seriously as it should be taken. But, and, 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 and I don't know if like, they just don't have the capacity, they don't have the power, or they just don't care. I don't know, but step it the fuck up. Because I'm out here doing probably more work than they are doing. Because I'm out here writing tickets to them. And I know this, like, it's, it's getting to the point where it's just like harassment and spamming. But I'm being respectful every single time. And, and I'm out here including as much context as possible. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's not enough. And there was another guy, but I forgot his name. It, it was a Twitch player who ran it down. And then there was another guy, it was a Draven player. There were so many, like... And I wrote tickets every single time. Eh, whatever. Anyways, guys, stay safe out there and please just make sure you don't play like these two. Peace out.